Hey, hey. So, um, we're starting a little late today again. Busy day. Uh, September the 4th. Kind of the first working day. Well, even for many, a holiday today. But <clears throat> this is a reading from the Daily Reflections book. And uh, as I've been doing now for <coughs> almost a month, and, uh, kind of without fail. I missed one day, but I picked it up the next day. Anyway, here we go. Uh, September 4th, it, it, the title of today's reading from the Daily Reflection is Reconstruction. And the reading is, yes, there's a long period of reconstruction ahead. And that's from... Uh, the big book, page 83. And I thought I'd just open the book today and, and, and read a little bit more of that. So yes, it says, there's a long period of reconstruction ahead. We must take the lead, it says. <clears throat> a remorseful mumbling that we are sorry will, won't fill the bill at all. We ought to sit down with the family and frankly analyze the past as we now see it, being very careful not to criticize them. Their defects may be glaring, but chances are that our own actions are partly responsible. So we clean house with the family asking each morning in meditation that our Creator show us the way of patience, tolerance, kindliness, and love. Boom. These are the directions in step nine. Okay. Beautiful. I love the, the reading, you know. Yes, there's a long period of reconstruction ahead. And the, what they wrote about this uh, in, in the Daily Reflection book says, the reconstruction of my life is the prime goal in my recovery. <clears throat> and I, I like to think that, that uh, my thing wasn't a reconstruction because I, I didn't have much of a life. I mean, I started drinking and using at 14, and, and you know, so it was, it was building a whole new life. It wasn't really a reconstruction. It was a whole new life. And, uh, but building this whole new life became the primary goal in my recovery as I avoid taking the first drink, one day at a time. Okay, the task is most successfully accomplished by working the steps of our fellowship. A spiritual path is not a theory, it works, but I have to live it. Uh, step two started me on my journey to develop a spiritual life. Step nine, because we're in September, in the ninth month, we're on step nine. Step nine allows me to move into the final phase of the initial steps, which taught me how to live a spiritual life. Without the guidance and strength of the higher power, it would be impossible to proceed through the various stages of, of building a new life. I realize that God works for me and through me. Uh, proof comes to me when I realized that God did for me what I could not do for myself by removing the gnawing compulsion to drink. I must continue daily to seek God's guidance. He grants me a full, a daily reprieve and will provide the power I need to build a new life or for reconstruction. So that's the deal. Um, everything in this book, everything in the in this program, points towards this relationship with the higher power. And uh, you know, tonight I have a we do a meditation group. And what is the meditation for? Why why do people meditate? So that they can hear, so they can still the mind. And it may take some practice to quiet, the, you know, the crazy mind, so that we can hear this voice of of the higher power. So we can you know have this conscious contact. And, you know, cleaning the wreckage of the past helps to, to get rid of a lot of the old stuff, the old stories, the, our old beliefs. So we let go of our old ideas, our old beliefs about ourselves, about relationship, about money, about uh, all kinds of things. We let go of these things and, and find ourselves free in this moment. It's a beautiful thing. So meditation groups at 7. I'll uh, put something in the, in the notes here so that you can... You can join us if you'd like. And uh, it's on Zoom uh, every Monday night going forward for a while. And then the big book study on on, uh, on Friday nights. <clears throat> and it'll be on Zoom too. Okay. Love you lots. Thank you.